Hey guys, David from Dash Off Road and today is airbag day for the Y62 Patrol. Now, uh, any full drive with independent suspension that is changing load levels is going to have problems with tyres scrubbing and um, the back end dropping down. And that's just a thing with IFS or IRS really. Especially the bigger the car you've got, the more stuff that you can put in the back of it and the more it can sink down. So it can drop like 25, 35 millimetres and then when you put the van on it can drop another like you know, up to 65 millimetres I've heard with a standard suspension. When you do that, the wheels just go <laughs> and they're gonna scrub, whether you like it or not. Um, so basically, if you're towing with an independent rear suspension, you've gotta have airbags, you have to. You should get the suspension to match the, your constant loads, but um, as soon as you are going to be adding loads, maybe you've got an extended range fuel tank, maybe you're towing, as soon as you're gonna add a lot of weight to the back end, you really need to have, um, something that's going to um, balance out that weight or, or manage that weight so you can keep your wheels nice and straight they're not going to scrub and it's not going to affect your steering not to mention get rid of body roll and all those other things so um, uh, I'm going to go through I've already actually, actually already got airbags on this car but I've had some issues with them so I'm going to swap them over for these uh, airbag ones airbag man uh, heaps better in my opinion they've got the sleeve over the top which protects the bag you can go up extra psi I've already seen just the, the brass fittings, the tubing, air, air tubing's better conduit around it. So I'm gonna swap them over and um, I'll give you a bit of a review how they go. Here's a quick rundown on how it's going so far. All right, that bolt's off. And check this out, no wonder I was hearing a rattle. There's rocks down here. Anyway, so um, basically just undo that bolt give a little, like put the jack under it to support it, then give it a little tap here, and that all falls away. Now this spring should just fall out, and um, we're halfway done on this side. Here's a quick look at the difference of the airbags. So the red ones are my old ones, the airbag Firestones are the new ones. From the bottom up, this one didn't have anything at the bottom. This has got this hard plastic sort of base on the bottom. The sleeves, uh, go over the airbags in this one, where there's nothing on that one. At the top, if you have a look at the fittings, this has got a brass connector, and then this sort of uh, clip goes over the top of it and just clips on. Whereas this one, you've got um, um, a push in valve that goes in there. Just differences again. So, this is a, a rubber um, spacer there. This is a hard plastic. Top hat's hard plastic. Again, this is rubber. The tubing, I already showed you the this stuff that's what comes with the red ones this uh, with the airbag man it's got this real hard tube there's no compliance and then it's got a protective sheath over the top very quick look at the difference between the airbag man and right. the other so I'm up to connecting the tube to the airbag this wasn't going to be an install video but it's kind of turning into one but uh, yeah we're connecting the tube up so um, when you cut this stuff you've got to do it perfectly square so sharp knife, bit of wood, and just, it has to be straight down, like that. You don't want any blemishes on there whatsoever. These little suckers are great, but they're so hard to get inside the coil. Like basically, you have to squish this, and then that strong, and push in here, and you're either gonna end up ruining the, the sheath, but it's a simple trick. I'm kicking myself when I work it out. Just basically squish it down with your knee, wrap some cable ties around it. Easy as that. So I hope that saves you like an hour or something. Okay, we're all fitted up. I'll, I'll show you how it turned out. So that's how it's all fitted up. All looks nice and neat and snug. And then up here, this is where I've got the outlet coming out on either side. And if you're wondering what this little thing is, this is, um, I don't know if you can see on top there, if it's green, it means it's pumped up to 32. If it's yellow, it's uh, 18. If it's red, there's nothing in it. Um, nothing too much to get excited about, but it's um, just a way that I can monitor what air is in my um, airbags at the time. Now, it's a bit primitive and they're like a $5 eBay thing. I'm gonna get the, well, the plan is, um, after we get past this stage, is to go for the pneumatic setup. So Airbag Man have these little switches. So you just 
basically flick up if you want more air in it and flick down if you want less air in the airbags and then there's a gauge which will report to you how much air is in there so um, that's the ideal setup and I'm going to look at that a little bit later. What I want to do now is do a bit of testing so now that it's fitted up I'm going to hook the van up well actually I'm going to take some measurements uh, eyebrow heights then hook the van up without the airbags inflated and see how much the back end drops put 30 pounds in it which is what I used to do with my old airbags measure that and then do it again with 60 um, psi in, in the back so not even taking into consideration the you know positive effects of airbags like less body roll and pitching and all that sort of thing I just want to look at ride height alone just for now Without the van on the ball, um, I'm told the way that you measure this is from the center of the wheel hub up to the top of the guard, and that's your eyebrow height, trying to keep it parallel. And I'm getting 50, almost 57, 56 and a half centimeters. So, uh, and that's with a two inch lift. Let's drop it on the ball and see how much it comes down. So what's 56 and a half? Now we're at 55, so it's dropped about 15 mil, which is pretty good. So I do have, um, yeah, as I was saying, a two inch lift and uh, the springs that we put in here were engineered. They're actually off from an armored vehicle, so they're extra heavy duty. I think, you know, if you compare to how much kilograms you put in the back, it's about 600 kilo constant load. So they're very stiff spring. I've seen standard cars drop, you know, 50 mil when doing this. Uh, 30 psi in the center of the hub. Get that as parallel as we can. Whoa, it's like 57 now. So it's gone up five mil, I suppose. Let's drop it on the ball see what changes. Fifty six. Okay, so just ride height alone was dropping fifteen mil. Now I'm only five mil away from what it was um, standard from standard height. I'm really curious to see what happens if I put 60 PSI in and how much that's going to change things. So let's do it. Well, so it's not on the ball and um, 60 PSI. Center of hub. <laughs> this keeps getting taller. It's uh, 58 now. Drop it on the ball and we'll see how close we were to our original spec. We started at 56 and a half, 60 PSI, huh. 56 and a half. So I've now, with 60 PSI in, I'm back to my original ride height, except I've got 230 kilos on the ball. That means my, um, Besides body roll, pitch, all those sorts of things, my tyres are going to stay aligned and with an independent rear suspension uh, it means I'm not going to scrub tyres or do anything like that. So I'm going to be running at 60 psi from now on. Right, so I just went for a bit of a drive with the van on the back and no surprises really. The airbags were a huge help. Uh, when I had a failure with my other airbags, the top speed was about 90, 95 k's an hour. Now, I'm just a I don't usually tow at 110, but just for the sake of it, I towed at 110 k's an hour today just to see what it was like and it was perfectly fine. The extra 
So the Firestones can go up to 60 PSI compared to my old ones, 30. And everything just improved a little bit more. The ride height was a little bit higher. The pitch uh, that you get like going over undulating sort of bumps on the road, that was a bit better. The body roll was probably, just everything was just a little bit better, I think because there was more pressure in the airbag. And yeah, they're basically a must have. If you're towing anything or got changing loads, like I don't bother with weight distribution hitches. I think they're just a pain to be honest. And um, this is easy, pump them up, job done, tow, and you don't really think about it. Just you, sometimes you don't even know that the van's on the back. So I hope you like this video. I do these every week actually. So you uh, hit that subscribe button down there and I'll see you next week, each and every Thursday, I'll do another video. Thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah. Be my guiding star Cause I need your love and baby